Pat Love Back with Pat's Two Cents. I want to ask you some questions. You see how the enemy is infiltrating our society. You see how things are getting looser and looser in these last days, don't you? I know you see it. I know you see it because, see, this is what happens. When we start to boil in the water, you know how they put a frog in a pot of hot, of cold water and they let him swim around and he feels at home and he gets all comfortable and he's la -di -da, do -do 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 -do. he's having a ball and you slowly turn up the flames you ease the temperature up you don't knock him over the head with it because he's going to have enough sense even if you and I don't he's going to have enough sense to jump out of that pot and get it, and get his heels to clicking and get on out of there what are we doing Satan is steadily turning up the flames, turning them up, y'all. Oh, I mean, he is spreading his wings. He's breaking out on the left and on the right. He's doing his thing, and he's sending his workers, all those locusts, to flying all over the place, making changes, baby, making changes. Your children are sitting in front of TV, watching demonic creatures on cartoons, cartoon demons. Ooh. They are so fascinated and taken and mesmerized and enticed, intrigued with the dark side. And what are you doing? Sitting up there at the dining room table reading your paper or on your cell phone. Yuckety, yuckety, yep, 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 yep. Yuckety, yuckety, yep, yep, yep. Yuckety, yuckety, yep, yep, yep. Oh, really? Did you? Oh, no. While your children are being fed, infiltrated, mind changed, mesmerized, hypnotized by the devil and his lies. You're so busy, caught up in whatever you're doing, you're not taking it seriously, and you're not paying it any attention. You're not listening to the messages coming across in those cartoons. What about the games? Dungeons and Dragons, Pokemon, all these other things. You sit up there and watch these games, Blah, 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 look at this creature. He looks like a demon from hell, like the almighty Hulk turned into a demon, a monster, a dragon, whatever. And your children get to play those games left and right. Mm-hmm. It's fun. <laughs> why not? I'll tell you why not. It's the same reason you wouldn't want your daughter laying in the bed with a hillside strangler. That sex might be fun for a hot minute, baby, but guess what? There's a death sentence at the end of her name. And you will do everything you can to persuade her to get out of that dangerous relationship. But we don't, as a church, as a body of Christ, we're so busy bickering over each other as to who has the last word on the word, who has the best doctrine, worship on the Sabbath, eternal security, talking in tongues. We got all that going on. We got so much to argue about. We don't have time to be about our father's business, snatching people out of the very fires of hell. Too busy. Too busy bickering, debating, and tripping. Then our kids are slowly being flushed down the toilet while Satan just rubs his hands together. And he says, come into my parlor, little kitty, kitty, kitty. And he takes his hand and puts it on that lever when the kids go swimming. And he slowly pulls the lever down. And then flush, 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 flush. They're in a the whirlpool. They can't get out now. Whoo! They're going down. 
they drown, they die. Now, whether you're talking figuratively or whether you're talking physically, he accomplishes it both ways, you know. And in the meantime, what are you and I in the church doing? Hmm? What are we doing? What are we doing about that? Lies coming through the history books. Lies coming through sex education. All kind of stuff shoved at children that you and I do not want to see. You and I don't want to, you know, we don't even agree with that. We know they're lies, but what do we do? Hmm? We get on the phone and bicker at each other about it. We fuss about it. We may even pray a little bit about it. But what are you doing about it? Hmm? People go to court left and right for the name of God being up on a building, the name of Jesus. We see Satan doing his thing. Ain't nobody going to court about that. No, because see, we are, um, we have to have church. We have to be busy being saved and busy not going to hell. See, we have too many Bible studies and classes and, 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 and worship services to go to. We don't have time to rally different churches together because we don't agree on too many things. We just don't agree. So there's no way we can really get together, put our heads and our hearts, our spirits together under the anointing of God and the love of true fellowship. Oh, oh, no, 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 we can't do that. I, there's just no way I can get a Baptist together with a Seventh-day Adventist, with a Catholic, with a... Oh. There's no way. But in the meantime, yeah, in the meantime, Satan has got his locusts and they are destroying, killing, massacring. But we have our heads in the sand, in the sands of Christianity, in the sands of Christian doctrine, of denominationalism. And we love to get together and go to the building of God. We are the temple of God, not that building. So y'all get your temples together and start putting your heads together and join up with the anointing of the Holy Spirit so he can empower you to get out there and break some yokes, you guys. Time out for sitting on the sidelines. This is not a spectator sport. God does not expect you or me to sit on our behinds of Christian fellowship while the world is going down the toilet in a handbasket. I'm done fussing. You mad at me? Guess what? Get over it. Because we need to be mad at the devil, not each other. God bless you.